What's up everybody? It's a beautiful rainy day here in Pensacola, Florida. And I decided to make a video today because I get this question a lot. Hey, Jack, hey, what's the best breweries in Pensacola? And I said, you know what? I can answer that question. I feel like a professional on this. So as a real estate agent and a fellow YouTuber, vlogger, person that does everything Pensacola life, I'm gonna answer this question. We're gonna do about like six or so beer brewery places and we're gonna talk about which one's the best in my opinion and you know kind of the consensus of what the locals go to. And this might answer your question because a lot of things have changed since COVID and since Sally and the bridge being out and a lot of crazy stuff has happened here in Pensacola. I mean places have lost their roofs and so I gotta bring y'all an updated version of the top breweries in Pensacola to get a beer. And that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Let's do this. All right, so if you've been following my vlog for very long, you know that Pensacola is famous for kind of a few things. The, the main things we do here in Pensacola are the Blue Angels, the beach, fishing, and downtown, okay? And uh, downtown is has gotten a lot of breweries lately, probably in the last like four or five years. It's not like it when I was a teenager. These kids now got it good. And uh, we have, you know, about, I don't know, seven or eight different breweries. And I'm gonna break it down with my top four and then my runners up. Doing the local pub crawls is one of my favorite things because you know what? It's relaxing. You just bike ride to and from, walk to and from, as long as you're doing it safely. So we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way to the top. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a couple runners up because gotta throw them out there in case somebody wants to try them. But these are my favorite, the ones we go to a lot. And I'm ranking these in a three-step process based upon proximity to other stuff, their beer taste, and then the kind of entertainment and everything that's around at the same time. And I just spilled my coffee, I think. See, a lot of things have changed here in Pensacola over the last year and some change. We've had COVID, we've had Hurricane Sally, now we've had another tropical storm. A lot of places are closed, a lot of places are open. So, you know, really I figured that the video I made about the breweries a few years ago needed to be updated. So here's our update. And if you've been following along with the vlog, you know our bridge has been out from cutting us off from Gulf Breeze, from downtown Pensacola. So a lot of businesses have been hurt and things have, you know, really kind of had to adapt to the scenario. All right, so I've got like four solid ones and about two or three runners up. And my number four on the list, the one that makes the cut is Meguiar's. Meguiar's, you know, a lot of people are gonna say that's not a brewery, but they do brew their own beer. And the life and entertainment there is really better than anywhere else. I mean, you've got the Irish bands, the Irish drummers, the Irish bagpipers. You've got the guy sings on Friday night. You get the Kiss the Moose. I think they're still doing Kiss the Moose. I don't know if it's a COVID thing, but you get the Kiss the Moose. There's $1 bills everywhere. The food's good. And I've never really gone to Meguiar's and I didn't have a good time. They have the Meguiar's 5K. They're really big into the community. They always have something interesting going on and it's always packed. So I can't be wrong, but that is really the, the, the number four pick out of the total four bars that I'm gonna talk about. And it's located downtown Pensacola. It's right there um, as you're coming off the Three Mile Bridge and you're going into downtown right there, uh, close to the Civic Center. It's close to a lot of things. So this brings me into my number three pick, Coastal County Brewing. It's right there off of Olive Road, down uh, kind of more like Northeast Pensacola. It's a great little spot. Oh, it's like a traditional like brewery slash like beer garden and outdoors on like a Friday night. They have all kinds of stuff going on. I like their beer, they have a good selection, and they they made it through COVID, seemed like, like clockwork, and uh, they're back up, everything's going just like normal. So check that place out if you have it, and I enjoy going there. It's just on the other side of town for me, and we don't get to go as much. So, and that's why it probably makes number three on my list, just because of its proximity to me. Uh, you know, they usually have some music, it's not like Meguiar's music, but you know, it's a good little atmosphere. They got stuff to do outside. It's a traditional like beer garden. All right, moving right along to number two. Number two and number one was a long fight for me just because of, because I frequent one a lot and then I frequent another one a lot. So, but this one is a perfect plain brewery downtown. It is, a, a, it's an awesome spot. It's right next to Garden and Grain. So it's like beer in the front 
uh, liquor and, and, and harder spirits in the back, wine, things like that in the back. Good little place. I mean, I've seen wedding receptions back there in the back. I've seen, you know, business functions. Up front, it's a traditional uh, brewery with the TVs and people bring their dogs and you can sit outside on the porch and you can watch people walking up and down, you know, Garden Street right there. It's a good environment. You know, what a lot of people like to do in the downtown world is, you know, they come and they hop from brewery to brewery or bar to bar. So they'll go from like Perfect Plain, they'll go to uh, Odd Colonies down the way a little bit. There's a couple of other little breweries there. There's World of Beer, there's the Whiskey Bar, there's, there's a lot of little places, the Wine Bar, there's a lot of like things to bounce around to. So it's proximity to everything is, is why I rank it as a number two. The beer's good and they cycle their beers, you know, frequently based upon like the season changes and everything. Good place to go watch the game. And you know, it, it, there's a good little network of, of professionals and people that cruise through there. So it's a very relaxing spot. It's proximity to the other bars to make it, you know, high on my list and the beer's good. You know, they don't usually have like a band or anything in there, but it's just a good spot to go to. And to add on to that, a lot of people, you know, bring their bikes downtown. They go get something to eat on a bike. They go to the beer gardens on a the bike. They go to the other places on the bike and they just are able to stay on the sidewalks and not get on the street. It makes it a downtown environment. There's plenty of places to lock your bike up. And, and that's like one of my favorite things, especially during the fall is to kind of do something like that. Because the trick to downtown is on big functions like when they have races and things like that you got to park a good ways away like the seafood festival the the crawfish festival and what i do is we'll just park you know somewhere downtown where there's no traffic offload our bikes and ride our bikes into the festival and then park and then we're able to bounce around it makes everything easy um, just have a good bike lock and make sure you lock it up. All right so this brings me to number one my number one pick for the beer world here in Pensacola and that is Gary's Beer Garden right here on the west side. Why? Because west side's the best side. No, actually because they have good beer and I'm two time beer stein holding champion there. They even use my picture in their ads. Somebody's got to show the Marine tie to do it and the Navy, you know, because us Army guys, we got to hold it strong. I'm just saying. And the cool thing about Gary's Brewery and Beer Garden spelled in the German way is that uh, they have some good beer that they, they, they brew themselves. They have a huge selection of stuff. Um, the bartender's super nice and hasn't thrown me out yet because sometimes we come from disc golf and we get beers afterwards and they're super cool. Somebody stuck two of my <laughs> pictures on the wall, on the poles with these little stickers. And then, uh, yeah, it's just a great place. We have a lot of fun. We can drive the golf cart there. And it's like one of those places that uh, they always have some good outdoor games like cornhole. They have, they do the keg throwing competitions at Beer Fest every year. They had a tightrope for a while. I don't know how we didn't kill ourselves. And I'm guessing that's when I, I guess they took it down because people were flipping upside down. Rob almost broke his neck. Um, and it's just a fun place to go. They got a good little indoor spot where you can sit, you can order some little finger foods, or they have a food truck usually. And uh, there's a big yard where you can bring your kids, you can bring your dogs, and everything's just kind of fun. And uh, I highly recommend it. It brings up my number one spot. Um, you know, it, it is far away on the west side and there's not a lot of places to bounce, but it gets a good military crowd because the Naval Air Station and Quarry Station's over here and uh you know it's 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 got a big parking lot and it's just it's just a good spot my favorite wholesome spot to go so the bonus round and that's what i'm gonna talk about right now the bonus round is the places where i don't frequent that much um but they still have good beers and you might want to check them out um gulf coast brewery great place right by mcguire's right down uh, it's really like kind of just up the street it's a good spot they have some outdoor sit seating they've got ping pong they've got some other stuff to play um it's uh close to mcguire's um you can go from gulf coast to mcguire's and pretty much walk there and uh it's just before you get on the three mile bridge really like right next to mcguire's check it out good place uh, i have no like I have nothing bad to say about it, but its proximity to downtown is one of the reasons why, you know, it, it went down down the list for me. Because you really just can't bounce from one place to another, to another, to another, to another, to another. And that's kind of like my favorite part. The other one is Odd Colony, which I've mentioned before. You know, a lot of people like to bounce around on in their little beer crawl. 
And uh, one of the reasons why I, I didn't include it was it seemed like it was closed a lot during COVID, so we didn't go there. We kind of fell out of the routine of going there and it had just opened. So it hadn't been open that long. And then there's no reason really other than that, then it's kind of out of the way. But if I was gonna do a beer crawl in downtown Pensacola, it would be on my list. Cause like, usually like the, the list goes from like Perfect Plain, Odd Colony, Big Top Brewery, which is another one, World of Beer. But all right guys, those are my list. Those are the, the ones that I've thought to, that I should just throw out to you guys if you're just coming here for a vacation or if you're here um, you know, living, you want to check out new places or, or whatnot. These are great places. I really have, like, I know I was being like critical on a lot of things here, but they're all great. Like they're not bad, you know, like they're all our Pensacola restaurants and bars. They're all, they're all our Pensacola breweries. We, we strongly support them. You know, beer is kind of like a personal preference. So some of it you're going to have to make your own mind on and go and try them all. But those are my favorite uh, places to go try and get a beer and it's kind of the consensus of a lot of my friends because that's where they go to if it's happy hour or if it's a Friday afternoon that's where we go and it's kind of our hangout spots so that's it guys don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below with your favorite breweries that way everybody can get a full generic breakdown of the entire thing and you just don't get my point of view just look in the comment section and uh, I'll see you oh Oh, and by the way, hey, if you need a real estate agent, you move to Pensacola, or you're wanting to buy, sell, whatever here in Pensacola, I'm, an, I'm a real estate agent. It's in the description box below. Just tag my email and send me an email, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep your head down with these hurricanes. I hope you all survived the tropical storm, and I'll see you guys later.